The Phillies are the hottest team heading into the playoffs. The Phillies are the hottest NL team heading into the playoffs. But the hottest team in baseball heading into the playoffs is the Texas Rangers. And the Texas Rangers deserve a ton of credit yeah, they do. for what they have done because we we probably didn't talk about them enough when they were one of the hottest teams in the world. And then it got to the point where it was like, look, guys, this team is this is the real deal. Yeah. And then post like all-star break, post trade deadline, it was just straight downhill. And then they started being talked about more of up. Oh, the Rangers are rangering. Yeah. I've never heard anybody say that. I just said that. But okay. it seemed like that was the I've consensus. heard that with like the Mets are metting the and Mets like the met- Cubs yeah. are cubbing. Like, but well, yeah. the Cubs, well, we'll talk about that yeah. in a minute. Uh, <laughs> but the Rangers deserve a ton of credit for doing what they did this season at the beginning, completely falling out of it, like fell off a cliff. Yeah. And then pick themselves back up and have put themselves at the lead of the division. And I would say, and I did say last week, the Rangers are, I think the Rangers are going to win this division. Yeah. As long as they split with the Seattle Mariners, you win two games there, you win the division, you win one game, you get into the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So uh, they've won seven of their last 10. They've gone from outside of the playoffs to into the division lead. Um, their offense is carrying them. They're getting healthier on offense. Uh, pitching wise, there's a little bit of concern. Uh, health wise, Max is like throwing off of a mound now trying Whoa. to get back. Um, so they're, they, they deserve a lot of credit. I would say the hottest team right now heading into the playoffs. And if they win the division, they're going to be a two seed. Yeah. So I'm going to say the hottest team heading into the playoffs is the Rangers. The Phillies, certainly the Phillies have just been like a great, like the Phillies are great. They just got red hot at the right time. The last month and a half oh, yeah, for the regular season. They're just really good. Yeah. They, I think everything just started clicking for a Trey Turner, Bryce Harper, like they're everything just started clicking on all cylinders at the right time. Obviously they weren't going to win the division because the best team in baseball is in their division, but they are. Yeah. They're, they're not a team you want to face in the postseason. No. And we're talking about again, is they're going to be the four seed, the mm-hmm. top wild card spot. They're going to play the, the five seed, yeah. which is a, looking more and more like it's going to be the D backs. Shout out snakes. Good call, Ben. (laughs) Uh, uh, But Alex, what we're heading for, if they can beat the diamondback. Now, remember the wild card series is a best of three, all at the all at the higher seed stadium. Yeah. So if the the Phillies will play all those games at home, if they win that, that series, which I believe they will, we're going to get a Braves Phillies rematch in the NLDS. And on the other side, what we're talking about with the Rangers, they're most likely going to end up with the two seed. If the Astros are the team that gets in to the six, which it looks like they're going to have to play the twins. They'd probably be favored to win that series. We could get Rangers Astros, which is a series that we were hoping for, but it didn't look like it would line up. They were good enough to overtake this Astros team. That's basically controlled the AL West for the better part of a decade. We could this, this playoffs is going to be. A lot of fun. So uh, Phillies and Rangers, I would say, are the two hottest teams heading in. The only okay. reason I didn't pick Phillies overall is just because they've been hot for a really long they time. Have. It's just and been a gradual, gradual increase on their season. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, they, they, which makes sense. Bryce Harper started the season injured. He finally got back. Trey yeah. Turner started slow. Andrew he Suarez got back. wasn't in the rotation yeah, at all. So it's just that makes sense.